Let's now look at an example of a portfolio management Monte Carlo simulation. So let's do the following. Let's say you want to invest in an RSP plan for 30 years. You plan on retiring in 30 years. You're going to invest an initial $20,000 and then you're going to deposit the following amounts. $12,000 from years 1 to 5 and, per, and you're going to deposit that yearly. Uh, $6,000 for the next 5 years from years 6 to 10. $12,000 for the next 5 years and $6,000 for the next 5 years and 18,000 for the next 10 years. Let's say you're mapping this out. Um, let's say you're planning on having kids right about here. They get really expensive. Then they get a little less expensive as the daycare uh, goes away. Um, and then they get more expensive as they turn, get uh, into adulthood and teenagehood here. And then they've moved out. Your mortgage is almost paid off. And you can add more money to your uh, portfolio at the end here. Really, you should add as much money as you can at the very start. But of course, we're limited in funds. Let's say if this was your overall plan um, for the next 30 years. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's talk about the interest you're going to earn here on this portfolio or that you anticipate earning. So we're going to let the interest rate vary every year um, for the 30 years. Uh, we're going to let these rates follow a normal distribution. We're going to start here. Um, they would probably most likely follow a log normal distribution if these were uh, large company stocks that we're investing in. But let's just start with the simple normal distribution. We've got to start somewhere. Let's let the mean be 20%. This is quite high, by the way. Standard deviation of 10%. So this, yeah, we'd be getting lucky. Very smart investing. But again, we have a high standard deviation, so there's a large fluctuation. We could earn easily up to 30%, or we could lose 10%, um, possibly. Um, okay, we're going to simulate this rate of return with a norm.inv call if we have a normal distribution. Use the RAND call, mean of 20, standard deviation of 10, plug those in. Um, and uh, this will give us uh, our interest earned each year. Let's have a look at that. So let's say your balance in our account in year zero is 20000 because that's what we initially deposit. Then um, the interest earned in year one will be that balance. Uh, times the rate in year one um, and um, so that will be that 20,000 times the resulting rate from the norm.inv call in year one. Let's go have a look at all of this in the Excel file now. Okay so now I have just uh, made notes here of my interest rate. I'm going to let it have again that mean of 20% standard deviation of 10. It's going to be a normal distribution or follow a normal distribution. Here are my investment amounts. I've just plugged them into my spreadsheet here too. So that's just that um, initial one here. So my cash flows are all of the cash flows, all of the deposits, the inflows and outflows in this case. So there's still all of the deposits so far. Um, so 12,000 occurs for the first five years. Here's one to five, then 6,000 for this year, six to 10. You can keep going through. Uh, and I've just cell referenced it back to um, my, uh, my table here so that I can easily change these deposit amounts if needed. Okay. And all the way through till year 30, I have all of my um, deposits in here. Now, just for ease of working with the spreadsheet, we're going to hide um, a whole bunch of um, columns here so we can see everything. Uh, let's hide. Um, years 5 through 28 now. Now we can have a look at everything at once. Okay, now uh, what we need to do for our initial balance in our account, it's going to be equal to that 20,000, so we're going to cell reference it from here. Again, try to cell reference everything as you go. Okay, and then we're ready to get our interest earned after we get this interest rate. So this interest rate is going to be equal to norm, oh sorry, norm.inv uh, and then Use a random number for the probability, grab that mean, block that reference, grab that standard deviation, block that reference. That will simulate an interest rate and let it fluctuate following a normal distribution. Uh, and every time we hit enter, we'll get a different rate within that distribution with that mean and standard deviation. 